A promise from God is a revelation of something from your future in your present designed to help you to build up the desire for it and then to motivate you to make decisions that are going to take you down that path. That's the life of faith, right? So God, that's what is a promise from God? A promise from God is that God is revealing something to you about your future in your present. God revealed to David that he was anointed to be the next king of Israel. And the revelation was meant to inspire him to go down that path. And he was going to need that inspiration during these 13 years that he would spend on the run. So how does this apply to you? Let me explain what a promise is. Recognize that a promise from God to you are like glimpses from your future that are designed to inspire you, to motivate you. When God gives you a promise, let's say this is you right now, and this is you the day you die. What God does with a promise is that God takes, this is where you are right now, God takes something from over here, from your future, and he reveals it to you in your present. And what he does when God reveals it to you in your present is he's revealing something to you now in the present that he knows will be a source of inspiration and motivation and guidance and strength and peace because he knows that you're going to need that now, right? So that you can make decisions as you're living out your life. You can make decisions based on what God revealed, even though it doesn't match up with the present day circumstances. So for you to walk and live by faith, I'm making decisions in the present based on what God revealed to me about my future, even though the sense realm evidence that I have doesn't line up with it. And so for me to truly live by faith and not by sight, I'm making decisions based on what God revealed, knowing that it's only a matter of time before I see in my hands what God already put in my heart. That's the life of faith. These promises are designed to motivate me, to make decisions that are aligning my life with God's will for my life, with God's plan. I'm making faith feel decisions, not decisions based on what I can see, not on the sense realm. Now, this is why living by faith often does not make sense because God is not sensual. God is spiritual. And so, so God is expecting me to make decisions based on what he revealed to me in my spirit. Now, God's part is grace. My part is faith. God's part is grace, unearned, unmerited, undeserved. God is revealing it to me that God already planned to do it from the foundations of the world, that God chose me. This is God saying, I will, I will, I will, I will. That's grace. My part is faith. Faith, watch this. My part involves me actively every day actively aligning myself with what I believe that God has called me to do. And I have to make decisions in the present based on what God revealed to me about my future. Even though the present circumstances don't line up with it, I'm not going to be moved by what I see with these eyes. I'm only going to be moved by what God said. That's why 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and 18 says that I ought to spend time meditating on the things that I cannot see with these eyes. I'm looking beyond where my eyes can see, and I'm meditating on the future that God planned for me, and I'm walking it out now daily, and I'm making decisions in my present based on this future. Why? Because I have promises from God, and the promises from God are yes and amen. The yes came from God. The amen comes from me. I say amen to that. I'm saying amen to to the, to the plan of God, the will of God, the, the desire of God for my life. And so when I'm living by faith, sometimes people may think I'm a little bit off because they can't see what I see. They don't understand what I understand. They didn't get the revelation that God put in my heart. And so, so of course, it doesn't make sense to them because they don't see what I see. And I'm, oh my God, I'm trying to explain this to you in a way that you can get it. A promise from God is this God giving me that glimpse and just that glimpse was enough that I needed to make decisions now for the next five weeks or five months or five years that's going to take me down that path. Say amen to that. Oh my God. I, I did my best to explain that. All right, number three.